What up in this John Boy? IBS Kelso coming back with another MX Bikes banger. Now, before you adjust your phone brightness to change your monitor settings, yes, I am black and playing a dirt bike game. Now, this is Under Pine MX created by Tire Man. Um, I have a little bit of information on him, but uh, shout out to him. I want to say a real thing. He has been here making this track ever since I was under a hundred a thousand subs. Shout out to 3,000. Thank you guys so much. But uh, we're gonna get right into the video. I don't want to like talk your guys' ears off. But I just want to let you guys know um, this is Under Pine MX created by my boy Tire Man, aka Husky. Um, and yeah, he's been asking me to do a track review ever since like his first track came out and this is his first track So W to him and uh, I haven't really spun too many laps on here But as always if I said that I was gonna do a track review um, I don't want to do a track review alone. So I brought friends. I brought Aiden uh, I brought my boy heroic my boy skizzy. Uh, I brought Kerp. I bought creamy I bought DC2J and I bought my boy Ethan uh, brought my boy Ethan and yeah um, I just don't ever think my opinion should be biased and I always want to hear what other people have especially people that are gonna ride the track aka the community and I just want to hear what everybody has thoughts of pro con maybe what could be better so W track so far it looks super clean it looks super nice and um, yeah we're just gonna get right into it so yo what up skiz hey what a cow yo. <laughs> yo. Yeah. so I finally <laughs> was able to collab with skizzy I think this is our first actual collaboration um mm -hmm. and I'm glad that it to be on this track so so far if you're riding around what 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 kind of opinions you have on it i i definitely think and you said this is his first track correct yeah i think for a first track it's definitely setting the bar high in my opinion i think you know a lot of people don't really understand when you know when they're first making their first track roughness and getting things right and like actually having a flow with the track and I feel like that's like a huge struggle that you learn over time the more you create the tracks, you know? So I think he's nailed that. I think the flow of the track actually is really nice. However, I do think it's a little small. I think the two strokes, like a factory two stroke, like 125, 150 might be like perfect for this track though, for sure. Yeah, but overall, I was, I was gonna say that as well. Like, I think I think narrow, like it's very narrow. Like in yeah, some spots, narrow. like it's gonna be very tight to ride with like maybe a full 30. 20 like 24 oh, people 100 yeah so i don't think 450s are going to be the move on here at all like he said a two stroke um but with reshade this thing looks super colorful like i don't know what it's looking like on your side but man like this this environment is really sick i feel like there's it's very good contrast to each other like the the dirt like change of the actual track within the outside environment yeah. plus the trees the different color of trees you don't see it a lot a lot of people just do like the same tree yeah you, just, you know copy and paste it a whole bunch of times but now you, for a first try, this is this is really good. Honestly, you can tell he's taking the time to actually, you know, put effort and really want to perfect and master, you know, track creating. I I really just got on here. I've only rode like two two or three laps, and I think that's the better thing is when everybody kind of gets to use like ride the track all at once at the same time, and then everybody gives their humble opinions where it's too biased <laughs> at the end yeah. of the day. So so far since you've been riding and your experience of I guess being in the pro scene, what what would you say? A pro would be on this on this track. Well, I've done about two laps and I already feel comfortable on it, so I think it's very easy to learn. It's not okay. a difficult track to learn. Most of the timing on the jumps and everything seems good, and I've only done two laps, so that's a good thing. What if we were to tell you that this is his first track? Does that like strike have... you as alarming that he was able to do this as his first track, or can it's you a tell? very good it's a very good first track. Yeah, you can good. tell that it's a first track just by the surrounding, like by the trees and everything like that. A lot mm -hmm. of people do put extra detail in, but for track wise, it's a very good track for a first track, 100%. Yeah. And I think I think he, he sent me a multiple different like little practice tracks, but never posted anything. So I think he's been really working on the craft. So what, what would be a con that you would say he could definitely work on? It's not really a track issue. But the inside corners are near enough impossible just because the tight corners on these bikes are terrible. Okay. That, but, that is a fair thing to say for sure. So it's not really a track issue, but the inside lines are really difficult to get into comfortably. I'll start with the pros. I'm a big fan of like jumps that come in and out of hills. Mm -hmm. So like the back part of the track where you come off that step down, down into like a gravity cavity and there's like a wall before that big roller section i'm yeah. a big fan of that i'm not a fan of like overly bumpy tracks and it just feels a little bit too narrow to me for it to be outdoors mm, yeah okay i see what you're saying yeah uh it definitely feels pretty skinny but other than that yeah i mean i, I think it's a pretty decent track 
Not, do you, now you are aware that this is his first track as well, or were you not? Oh, this aware is his first part? track. Yeah, this this is his first oh. track as well. I mean, for a first track, I don't. I mean, that's it's great. Yeah. That, okay. That's what that we all kind of think the same thing here. <clears throat> yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's, he's sent me some some practice stuff over time, and I think that was a huge thing for him to like do a tr trial and error with what Skizzy said earlier, and uh, I think it's huge. And I, I'm glad to hear everybody's different responses to this, uh, especially for track reviews. You know, I appreciate everybody that came in here, especially UJ. You actually had a lot to say and kind of took it with force. <laughs> so I like that. You know what I mean? Like it, it's huge. It's it's a real huge thing. So I mean. With that being said, like I, I've I've enjoyed everybody's response, and I think that's why I like getting everybody's kind of like biased opinion on it. So, heck yeah! I would Dang. like to say one thing though. If you can come to the start, uh, might have to let him know about this. Yeah, I, I think know. the gates are backwards. Yeah, I, I think he said I think he said that the gates might be backwards. And he needs to fix it, so he might have to re up he might have to re update the file. Yeah, I think the tracks like super fun super techy which i love i love super technical like tracks that like bring out your all your skill and stuff like that mm -hmm. uh i think the one like negative i have thing i have to say about this track is that it's super narrow which i find more difficult i feel like if it was just a little bit wider it would be perfect perfect motocross track yeah uh but yeah all right and what was CC do you think fits this track the best, in your opinion? I originally, I said 250 and I still stand by that. 250s, like two strokes and four strokes are perfect for this track. But now that I think about it, a 125 would be absolutely, like, just 125s with a few homies would be so fun on this track. He's got the same thought as me. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> That's literally what I was thinking too. Yo, so the only but, thing that I would have and we all have is just change the, <laughs> change the gates, man. Change the gate, man. Hey, we're going to give you the benefit of the doubt. You know, you were focused on making the best track. You know, you, yeah. You 10 out of 10. Thing. Okay, I did. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. I turned that genre around, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, I thought ow, 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 Kerp is killing me right now. Ethan thought he ate with that one. Alright. Dude, that was funny. I seen you in front of me. I had to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as you can see, this is very narrow. We're like nuts to butt right now. Alright, me, Kerp, and Creamy are on the, the charge from the back. Get her done. Oh, Jay, see you later. Oh, Ethan, my, see you later. My bike is rolling, dude. Still going. Oh yeah, the insides, I can definitely see what Aiden's talking about. I try hitting the inside and the, just a little almost nose wheelie 360, almost yeah. just killed DC at the same time. I think it was huge that we all kind of got like the, basically the same amount of practice because I haven't been on it before. Yeah. So it's kind of like you guys are just getting that free, like what line is the best to use? Can yeah, definitely think? tell the experience uh, kind of shows through here. Aiden was already able to kind of run yeah. some crazy times and quote unquote you know crash or whatever yeah. he says you know well yeah whatever. i crashed every lap so you, you know what? yeah i crashed twice and still ran that lap yeah right but, yeah. <laughs> yeah no i like it though it's a Ooh. it's not bad oh my bad Excuse yeah i mean we I have know. to learn a full national track in 30 minutes i think and then race on it so that is yeah, true i, I do forgot learned. about that you just learn to do it did i miss a gate or did i oh i think i got hit and in getting hit, I miss the finish line. Oh, did I? I don't <laughs> know, dude. You know, you, you, you're like just notoriously known for for cheating and not taking the, uh, the finish <laughs> lines. Okay. You know, because <laughs> you know, yeah. what's crazy is, you know, when, when we did the All indoor right. enduro, you know, you did the same thing. And then, you know, you try to say, oh, well, I, you know, the game. Got... <laughs> listen, 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 this time I got bumped. Okay. <laughs> I got, I got, I got straight side swiped by some dude. I don't know. I'm not gonna point that's, any fingers. That's so my fault. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> like the the time wasn't like updating, but then uh, I went back through it, and then it kind of did. I don't know. But we're good. The charge from the back right now. Oh Watch man, this. are you sending that that little wall jump, or are you like taking oh, it I'm slow? I'm sending that shit. I'm sending it. I I, I sent it. Uh, I sent it, dude, and I lit literally went skyrocket. Oh, I think I can make it. I think I was going like quad or quint on it. Oh, dude. 
I like literally almost landed track. twice. No problem. Oh, oh. Last stop coming up. Easy peasy. Yeah, must be nice, guys. Must be nice. <laughs> oh, no. I'm charge from the back. <laughs> oh, I just went for the quint over the wall. Landed it. Easy peasy. Yo, Ethan, you know, you know, hop off my pipe right now, bro. <laughs> Please and thank you. you tell hey, you want to back? You want to back up? You're burning my neck hair off, man. Oh, shit. Man. I'll see you later, Kerb. Fucking twenty second lead, Jesus. I know he's he's, co he's, he's concentrating. Tire hacks. That's all. I it get is. it. Yeah. Tires you use and talk to me. Uh, so oh. there's brand new ones on MXU mods. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? That's Everyone else has. How about that? Oh my god. Oh, oh wow. Nah, nah, nah. Nope. Don't I believe smell, it. I smell Captain Crunch. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh no! Oh no! This corner is gonna be the death of me at the top. My my dumbass keeps trying to hit an inside <laughs> rut and I just wiggle and then crash. Yeah, weird. So real quick, and in, in your guys' opinion, um, do you guys think the kind of join you guys in separately and then you know talk about everybody's opinion and see what you guys think about a track as a W as a track review, or did you guys like not like it, or what do you think we or me myself could do? Mm -hmm. no, I think it's good that you did one. No, I thought it was good. good. Yeah, I think it's good that you do it on board. That way, most people have a different opinion. Then. Yeah, yeah, you want someone will influence someone else to, you know, yeah. like, want to be the same, you know? Yeah. Big. Kind of a mystery. Do you think uh, this the questions that Skizzy and I gave you was pretty, like, top, like, not necessarily top tier, but, like, you guys were okay with it? Like, pro, con, yeah. what could do better? I mean, yeah, yeah that's what really you should get from a review, yeah. isn't it? So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think there are definitely questions that should be asked anyway. Too easy, man. Fair, fair, fair. From myself on my little outro, it's your boy IBS Kelso, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Pa 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 pa. Peace. Peace. Bye.